Hello dear colleagues, so in this video I will show you how to create property of your project uh, using sketch tools and from the sketch tools I will use rectangle tool uh, to create my property. Before we activate this tool we need to make preparation. So for preparation all objects should be grouped so it, mean, it means all objects on your uh, project should be placed in separate groups so it can be nicely uh, organized and of course all the objects should be in needed layers and we need to prepare the layer for our uh, property and the layers which should not be modified or changed should be locked and in our case we will not use Terrian we will use just satellite image. For more data, we can go to plenary, scope, and in here we have site, uh, site tips. So you can follow these tips uh, for training purpose. If you have real project, real design, you should uh, use real uh, project data. So in this case, for site size, you should uh, make the site size or the plot size based on your project. So it means uh, these dimensions uh, which are provided here can be updated and modified. Another uh, or other settings can be used as they are provided in here. So it means the site material uh, should be grass. Uh, other material can be choose freely. Fence layer should be used like this one. Side layer should be used this one. And uh, fence size 1.5 meters. Of course, if you have the fence inside your project. Uh, okay, so let's use this layer for our plot. So I just create new layer. And this layer in this case will be active layer how to make it active i'm not sure maybe i should move it up okay i hope it works like that and i now can select the needed tools click drawing tool select rectangle and just click and move my mouse based on X axis, click tab, right 30 meters, move my axis base along the Y axis, click tab, right 30 meters, and here my rectangle plot is created. I can click tab and select this one and add it to the right, uh, right layer. And also I can move it to fit nicely all my objects in my site. Now I see strange colors. So all these colors are from these glasses. So it means uh, all checking tools are activated. So in this case I will uncheck the tools. I don't need them. And I just go back here and I turn off my objects and leave only the site. So in here I just select my site and put it into nice separate group and also I go to the materials and select the ground material for my site. So I can have the grass material on my site. And now I should check if it works. So site is created material is assigned and I can lock it down and can turn on the buildings and also the, the surrounding and yeah so that's all for site creation so what we did we created a property site uh, assigned material, created layer, and created a group. So the same step should be used also for uh, 
creating the sense. So let's go back and for the sense I also will need to use a specific layer. So this layer is for railings um, in Revit and this layer is used to represent railings. So let's say fence in our project is also uh, inside the railings category. So I will use it to rep to create the fence around my uh, project. So let's create additional layer. Okay, it will be used for the fence. And now I use the same tool. Now I nap to the end of the point. Now I move along the axis, click tab, right 1.5 meters, and I move my mouse and snap it to another location. And here I have nice uh, rectangle. And I repeat the same task. Now I don't need to put dimensions because I can snap to my existing object. And I just go around my property and create the fence around my property. And now I will leave the gap in my property to represent the entrance location. If I will not leave the gap, in this case, all of this fence will be joined and the program automatically creates a closed solid object. It creates like a block. So in my case, I don't need such object and I can go back and I just need this. Now I can turn off all the objects which I don't need and I just select the fence elements. I see I am grabbing some uh, groups so to avoid grabbing any additional objects I just move my mouse on the uh, face of my fence and I just click tab and it nicely highlights lines and faces and now I can select needed layer and click right mouse and put it to the group. Now let's check if it works. Yes, it works nicely and now I can turn on back my objects and now I need to put the material for this object. So I go to the import section select metals and look for fencing material one click on this select the material select object and now i have nice fence around my around my buildings and my plot of course if i double tap i can uh, activate editing tools of this and material so here you can see how this how this tool works this fence so in this case i don't have texture picture i just have color i have bumps and cutouts and additional modifications in this location and the final result looks nice fence around project Okay, let's check out our list of works or, or tasks. So everything is completed, side plot is finished, and the fence is created. So that's all. And for additional materials, you can just jump to additional content which are provided here. So thank you for your attention, and till next time, bye.